Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person or channel na napunta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Pamilya Lagan Channel, Juan Anthony Balmoria, Jocelyn Custodio, Molex Alamada, Dels Bilia, Michael Aborita, Yangs TV, Psyche Caryon, Connie Blog, Margie Cayano, Heart Ponsalan, Joanna Keith, Desiree Joy, Mosquera, Monique Kilimore, Heart Billieta, and sa mga nanood na hindi nakisabay sa premiere pero nanood pa rin at nakinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. Praise God! Saturday na naman at nakapagpahinga tayo, no? Ang ganda na pili pa makapagpahinga talaga tayo. So, mga mga isadyante, na-relax yung mind nila, no? Tayo na-relax din sa trabaho, lalong-lalo na sa natatrabaho from Monday to Friday. So, ugaliin natin mag-spend time sa family kasi ang pamilya natin, guys, is really very important, no? Ako, I just spend my time with my family, no? Reunion kahapon, then, ano, reunion kanina, and reunion na naman bukas, <laughs> different places. Uh, kanina, doon kami sa beach, bukas, doon naman kami sa hotel. Kaya, importante talaga yung family, guys, no? Okay, guys, let's now proceed to devotional. Let's open a Bible to John chapter 10, verse 22 to 30. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible. Because the words you see so simplified, maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, this is the, about the unbelief of the Jews. So, the readings of John chapter 10 verse 22 to 30 says, Then came the feast of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple, Aya walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews gathered around him, saying, How long will you keep us suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The miracles I do in my Father's name speak for me, but you, not, you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listens to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. Give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father who was given to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. Amen and Amen. Hi hey guys, let's now pray. Yes, dear God, despite the things you have done in our life, the miracles you have done, yung mga blessings na ginawa mo sa amin but yet still an, ang unbelief is still there oh God like the Jews oh Lord na di pa rin makapaniwala sa iyo oh God Lord like a sheep teach us to be sensitive in listening to you that as a sheep oh God we would be loyal unto you as uh, you call us Lord salamat na ikaw ang great shepherd namin This as to just uh, be with you, focus unto you, na mapamilyarize talaga namin ang voice mo. Na every time na tatawag ka sa amin, we will immediately respond unto you. Lord, we pray to please open up our hearts, minds, body, soul, and spirit as we have this devotional. Now we will really grow and would learn something. Thank you, O God, for those regular comments and even to those new ones na dito ngayon. Ikaw din, O God, ang manguna sa bawat isa. Kung ano man yung pangailangan ng bawat isa, O God, ikaw magbigay nito, O God. Needs of finances, needs of good health, healing, needs of safety, and even the material needs na dinidesire namin, O God. May you also answer us, O God, as we pray. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you in this name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in John 10, 28, and it says, I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. 
So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is He Won't Let Us Go. Holyo was biking across George Washington Bridge, a busy double-deck therapy connecting New York and New Jersey, when he encountered a life-of-death situation. A man was standing on a ledge over the Hudson River, preparing to jump, knowing that the police wouldn't arrive in time. Holyo acted quickly. He recalls getting off his bike and spreading out his arms, saying nothing like, something like, Don't do it. We love you. Then like a shepherd with a crook, he gobbed the distraught man, and with the help of another passerby, brought him to safety. According to the report, Holyo wouldn't let go of that man, even after he was saved. Two millennia earlier, in a lie, life or death situation, Jesus, the Good Shepherd, said he would lay down his life to save and never let go of those who believe in him. He summarized how he would bless his sheep. They would know him personally, how the gift of eternal life would have never perished and would be secure in his care. This security did not depend on the ability of the frail and the people's ship, but on the sufficiency of shepherds who'll never let one be snatched out of his hand. When we were distraught and feeling hopeless, Jesus rescued us. Now we can feel safe and secure in our relationship with him. He loves us, pursues us, finds us, saves us, and promises to never let us go. Guys, yung situation, no? Grabe, nakakakaba talaga yun, no? Buti na nakita ni uh, Holyo yung ano, yung situation. And then, nagrab niya talaga yung kamay ng tao na gusto magpakamatay, di ba? Grabe, no? Uh, Ini-imagine ko yung situation na, imagine double deck to repairs, yeah? No? Sa, sa taas, nasa ibaba pa rin. So, hindi talaga makawala yung tao pag uh, itudoloy niya yung pag-suicide niya, no? Buti na lang, si Hul yung mabait siya talaga. Uh, Siyempre, kung makita ka naman talaga ng mga ganyan situation, you will really save that life, di ba? Uh, God will really touch you to save the life of that person. Buti na lang din yung mga pastors by tumulong kay Hul yun, no? So, napakaganda na situation, guys, na tayo ay magtutulungan talaga, no? Uh, Jesus Christ nga, no? Pinabayaan niya yung 99 para lang makita yung isang sheep na nawala. Kaya dito natin maano na God is really concerned about us as His sheep and He as our shepherd, no? Imagine, pinabayaan niya yung 99 just for the sake of that one na nawawala. Guys, kung ikaw man yung nawala, God is not done with you yet. Hahanapin ka talaga ni Lord. And the Lord would really look for ways na makita ka niya. At kakalungin ka niya, no? With His arm. Na mapil mo yung beat ng heart niya. At mapil din ni Lord yung beat ng heart mo. Ganyan tayo kamahal ni Lord. Kaya, uh, God won't let us go also. Ang ganda, no? He won't let us go. I guess it's not proceed to the two question. What makes you feel insecure in your relationship with Jesus? Itong, ano, <clears throat> uh, sa dami naman kasi ng, ano, ng devotion ako kasi nagsubscribe din ako ng, ano, ng, sa isang net, no, na nagsisend sa akin ng devotion na, uh, Ito sometimes yung sinisend ko sa ano sa ayun nasisend sa akin na link parang hindi na ako masyado nakaka-focus doon kaya doon ako parang nagigilty sa ano na insecure ako kasi nag-subscribe ako and, and yet I'm not doing it no kasi nga I have my devotion in the evening no in the morning and then pagdating ko ng ang um, trabaho, pag-uwi ng bahay, devotional, that's also the time na nag-prepare ako sa inyo. And then after the devotional na ito, praying for you again. Kaya you are really assured of my prayer. No? Kaya nag-worry ako kung hindi ko kayo makikita dito, hindi, hindi kayo magko-comment. Kaya I'll ask you to please comment no? para malista ko yung mga pangalan nyo. Kasi nakaugalian ko na talaga na ilista yung mga pangalan na mga na, nandito. Kaya kailangan nyo talaga mag-comment. Maski yung ano lang, ni YouTube dyan, yung mga emojis niya, no? Ang gagamitin niya. Okay, second question. How do you feel knowing that your security in Him depend on His sufficiency and not 
here we can see us, no? Uh, God really taught me about this, na pag may problema darating, sabi ka, si Lord ng bahala niyan. Parang, ano na, I will not uh, pressure myself, but instead, I will give everything to God. Yung, ano, cast all your cares upon Him, and He will care for you, di ba? Cast your burdens unto Him, you know? Ang ganda kaya ng song na yan. Kinakanta natin, pero hindi natin na na-apply. So, what about challenging you to apply yung song, no? And He said, cast your burdens upon me. Ang ganda kaya talaga ng, ano, ng song na yan. Kaya, guys, no? God won't let us go. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Jesus, when we let go of you because of our sin, you never let go of us because of your grace. Lord, thank you for you won't let us go. Thank you for your great love, for your thank you for your uh, great mercy and your care on us. Lord, thank you. We commit all these things to you. In this name we pray. Amen and amen. Guys, sana na-bless tayo sa devotional natin, no? Ugali yung mapunta rito, manood, makinig <laughs> sa devotional natin. See you again tomorrow. God bless us all, guys. This again, Richard Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muli tanggal sa muli. Paalam!